So when we think about um, uh, the question of whether dogs understand the emotions of others, um, you know, it's something we all are interested in, even scientists. It's a tough question because how do you ask a dog uh, whether it's paying attention to how we're feeling? Uh, but people have done some really neat research, so let me give you a few examples uh, to answer your question. Uh, one is, uh, we, there is a study looking at whether dogs discriminate different facial expressions, and the answer is you can train dogs to um, discriminate a photo of somebody smiling and somebody frowning. Um, and then you can give them new photos they've never seen before, and they will then recognize the facial expressions uh, in people that they have never seen before and the expressions of those people. Uh, the interesting detail there is though that they're they're only really good if it if the person they're discriminating is the same sex as their owner. The next piece of evidence that dogs may be sensitive to our emotions is uh, they are very good at discriminating uh, between high pitched sounds and low pitched sounds and knowing that when we have a high pitched vocalization that that's something that communicates pleasure. Low pitched is obviously displeasure. Um, and there's very nice studies showing that when you use those high-pitched vocalizations in combination with a visual gesture, the dogs are much better at actually responding appropriately to whatever it is that you're asking them to do. And the final piece of evidence that dogs may be sensitive to um, human emotions, or at least are trying to assess how to behave based on uh, how we communicate our emotions, is uh, evidence that dogs contagiously yawn. So if you contagiously yawn, uh, that's when you're in a crowd, somebody yawns, and you just can't help but yawn as well. We know from other species like primates that primates tend to yawn uh, specifically for those individuals they have the strongest relationships with, so they're friends. Um, and when we looked at dogs, it ends up that dogs also contagiously yawn. The interesting thing is that it's not all dogs. It's only some dogs contagiously yawn. Um, and this could be related to, as it is uh, in other primates, uh, the strength of the relationship dogs have to humans or to their owner. Um, and so that's why we're using that as our, one of our you know, main measures of empathy at Dognition. And again, that's one of the really exciting things here uh, is that because we're doing a citizen science project, you yourself can participate and find out about your own dog. And, and since this is such a fun question, um, you know, everybody wants to know how sensitive their dogs are to their emotions. And so Dognition's given you the ability to do that. One of our games that you play is the Contagious Yawning Game. And you'll be able to compare your dog's uh, propensity to contagiously yawn to all the other dogs in our database. And another fun thing is we talked about uh, dogs' ability to discriminate facial expressions. And we've designed a game for you for that. You can actually, uh, in our um, subscription program, you can uh, play a game that helps you assess how sensitive your dog is to your facial expressions. And you're going to be contributing because the truth is that the science is so new that we don't really know how good dogs are at discriminating human facial expressions. So we're going to use everybody's data at Dognition and we're going to help answer that question and we're going to share it with everybody and it'll be really fun to see what we find out. So thanks for the question and I hope that helps.